Viral vectors can be used to express fluorescent proteins in specific subsets of cells in tissue. Here, a virus expressing engineered proteins is introduced into the primary visual cortex of the brain by first performing a small craniotomy over this area. Next, a glass micropipette is lowered into the brain. An adeno-associated viral vector is injected into the brain and the surgical site is closed. Once the animal has recovered, imaging can be performed to follow the fates of fluorescently labeled cells in vivo or in brain sections. The main advantages of this technique over existing methods, such as fluorescent dye labeling and transgenic mouse lines, are that it can target individual cell types and is less expensive and time-consuming than establishing a transgenic line. The use of adeno-associated viral vectors is approved for Biosafety Level 1 or BSL-1. Here, a lab coat and gloves will be worn in accordance with procedures for handling BSL-1 agents. Begin by preparing a Biosafety Cabinet Class 2 for aliquoting virus. This will preserve the activity of the virus by avoiding repeated freezing and thawing. Clear the Biosafety Cabinet of any unnecessary objects and sterilize the surface with 70% ethanol. Place a beaker containing a 10% bleach solution in the Biosafety Cabinet for collecting adeno-associated virus-contaminated waste. Also place sterile 0.5 milliliter tubes and a container of dry ice. Thaw the viral stock on ice outside of the biosafety cabinet. Vortex the virus and open the tube inside the hood.